Almost. Quick. I gotta blow up a wave and then it's complete yours. Yes. It's nice to have one of those games yes. where you're just playing My well. Like I don't have that many games where I play well. But this is going this is going fairly fairly well. It's hard to object. Yes. I can't really push this yet. And they're all after me. Do I blame them? Absolutely not. They want my kill streak, and I don't blame them. But that's fine. They can't get me. They're not going to catch me. Yes. I just want to fix the little thing, and they won't let me. Yeah, the enemy team is kind of getting screwed. I mean, to be fair, we dominated top lane, so that helped a lot. And I'll get Yules now, which means I've got both extra lockdown and extra escape. Oh, Divine Scepter. Oh, hello. Like a wild Interesting. And I missed. That's pretty bad. Okay. Um, I'm hoping for assistance. Oh, I died. Cool. I can fix the thing now. Unfortunately, that does mean I gave them almost a thousand gold, but... There we go. I fixed it. It's okay, the team will have maybe sort of avenged me-ish. Yeah, they're, they're gonna avenge me, I think, pretty well. Oh, the freezing field, though! Oh, there you go, there you go. Okay. What time is it? Yep. It's killing time. Good. I gave them the opportunity. The other fellow's bottom tower's done for. Lena, what's an XP? I don't know what that means, but yeah, yeah Lena used to be called Lena Inverse top from Slayers. Tower of yours ain't doing so good. I bring like uh, this, I think, used to be called Slayer, if I recall correctly, I'm in the going. original Dota. So yeah, it is Lena Inverse from Slayers, uh, but obviously they had to make corrections to that for Dota 2. Yep, Crystal Maiden is Ryla. Time to hot foot it. So it used to be called anyway. I put the character subtitles on because you can't always hear all the character box when I'm streaming. So, it's it's not overlapping. I'm going to bloody check it. It looks fine. Oh, okay. no, it's not. Oh, okay, maybe slightly. Oh, okay, there's a little black border that I couldn't see. All right, all right. God damn it. Still overlapping. There. That is not overlapping now. It has been fixed. You can stop complaining. <laughs> Time to hot foot it. I was tempted to just leave it there, but I'm feeling too zen, so... Alright. Time to get some fucking vengeance. Seven in a row. Wanna start with you! One down. Two down. Take that as you will. Where'd he go? Up you go. And kaboom! How about that? Yes. Slightly got the timing off on my light strike array. I need to fix that in future. Well, if Clockwork wants to come back, I can, I can give him. Radiant structures must have been fortified. I, I can give you heals, guys. And mana, too. Quick. Well, I guess they don't want it. Alright. That's understandable. They probably need to go back to base anyway. Oh, yeah. It's time to be a few pixels lower. You see, this is why I don't give you anything. <laughs> give you an inch, you'll ask, ask for a millimeter. <laughs> I go like the blazes. Alright. Let's blow some more shit up. Yes. Yes, uh, I do need to keep doing that. I, I started doing like arc get, you can right click to like gather for arcane boots, which is really cool. I just started learning how to do the alt things on, like, Scorcher. cooldowns and stuff like that to say, hey, my ultimate's not ready, and so on and so forth. Open fire. I am tempted to go... I mean, Aghanims is really greedy. I'm, I'm playing a support build, ultimately. I won't get the mech, because oh, yeah. I'm sure someone else can get that. But I'll think about... Should I get Scythe of Vi, maybe? I go like the blazes. Yeah. Cheap stick might be good. Burn them all.
to battle. Top donors, fuck you. <laughs> what do you think this is? On it. Jesus. Quick. I'll try to keep my UI as minimalistic as possible, thank you very much. Like for StarCraft I do the Axiom sponsors on the UI, but outside of that, it's like no. Uh, ooh, hello. Yes. That's a double damage. I don't want to use that. That's something that Faceless could use. Or Clockwork. Time to Anyone that's not me. Middle looks interesting. Yes. Alright, let's put this on something, on a key that I can actually remember. Burn a path. Time for fun. And wonderful things. Hello. And there's the explosion. And one dead. Hello. Yes, 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 you're dead too. You just don't know it yet. There we go. I haven't even used my Scepter of Divinity. I don't really need to. Sub goals. I have no sub goals. <laughs> People subscribe, it's a service. You get ad free and chat access and VOD access. That's the service. My goal is to make that service as attractive to you as possible. We have a lot of subs. Like I think this is one of the most subscribed yes. channels on Twitch, to the best of my knowledge. So we're very grateful for that. And thank you very much. It does help a lot. Oh, I'm up, I'm up in the air. Mm, should have probably grabbed her, but it's okay. I think we can finish this game fairly quickly now. That timing! There we go. I have 11 charges of this. I can't use it fast enough. We're not, we're not actually losing health, so I can't use my urn. <laughs> First wall problem. The other fellas' mid rags won't be making trouble no more. Oh my god! Jules! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh dear! Oh no! Oh, the mechanism! We got out! Oh, that Yules just at the right time. Thank god for that. Oh my god. That could have been absolutely brutal. Oh! I'm, there's things coming. Okay, now you die. Probably don't want to be in that. Heal the vengeful spirit. Steal. Secure the kill. Oh, Ursa did Roche while we were. We're all at really low health and we can't do anything. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, okay. Please heal enough to get out. <laughs> Well, as it turns out, the 5,000 charges of urn that I have ended up being really useful. <laughs> I'm going. Almost feel bad for your top tower. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna back off now. I think we might we might have slightly yeah, overdid it. Fire. Your top tower's getting all banged up. Burn a path. Yeah, I was pretty lucky that the stun ended just as he was about to land the final blow. Otherwise, I would have clearly died. Uh, four staff might be good. A bit more mobility wouldn't be worse. Yeah, 42-9. It's pretty disastrous for them. Almost feel bad for your Yeah, I'm back to the podcast this week. Uh, I, I don't think Jesse's there. I need to secure guests. I don't actually have them yet. So I'll see what I can do. Might be cool to get a really nice industry show together. I'll, I might talk to... I'll see if uh, Matt Lees wants to come on. Maybe grab somebody else. Four staff. Last few weeks it's been a bit... Well, you know, it's been more casual. So maybe we can get a nice industry show going. I'll, I'll see who I can find over the next couple of days. I haven't really had the time yes. to put things together yet. Best Chronosphere NA. <laughs> Skywrath! Oh! He just unleashes the Alpha Strike out of nowhere. Oh my god. That punch just uh, gets absolutely obliterated. Get, get me the heals. I have the heals. Go! Time to hot foot it. Who knows how many that was? Yeah, I'd actually like to have Matt Lee's on. That would be pretty good. Matt Lee's is awesome. He was also very, very good on the BBC interview that was on Radio 5 Live with Lewis. 
Like, here's the thing, right? I am Lewis's friend. I am the Yogscast's friend. I have been for years. But Lewis, I think, made a real mistake going on that show because he got skewered really badly. I mean, I was happy with the outcome of the discussion, but I was really sad for Lewis. Like, oh no! Like, I don't think he knew who he, who he was about to run into, but Matt Lee's went after him in a really big way. It's a shame. Well, they are a business, but, you know, with that many subs, they're gonna come under scrutiny. That's just the reality of it. That's just part of being successful. Pop! Alright. Yes. Yes. Well, he's ghost walking. He's there somewhere. Six in a row. There we go. How about that? Kurian, I don't know. Like, I, I don't like to generally go with single gamer, uh, single mono gamers, because unless I'm talking about Dota, there's like. I know Pyrian does some Let's Play stuff, but I'm not 100% convinced Pyrian would be a good guest. Like, I'm sure he's fantastic, but unless I want to do a very Dota-centric show, I probably wouldn't get him on. It's nothing against him, it's just, you know, some people are specialists and some people have more general knowledge. And generally that show is better if we're talking about people who are more knowledgeable in general. I would prefer if you didn't. Is that okay? You mind? I shouldn't have done that. That was a bit damn. A little daft. Alright. How'd he go? He's there. Dead pudge. Yes, I think we can probably finish now. I don't see any reason to fuck around. GG! I'd say that was not a bad little Lena game. Trump, again, I mean, he plays a decent amount of games, but he's very, he's very busy and he's mostly Hearthstone focused. So maybe not. Cool. Uh, Cry was just on like two weeks ago. Strippin was on about two months ago, so I wouldn't probably rotate them in just yet. Cry's obviously fantastic. I'd have him on any show. Uh, he's definitely on, like, the short list for people that I just like to have on the show. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I don't mind Jim being back on. When was the last time we had Jim? Uh, I'm just gonna have a quick look at this, actually, while we... While we run a commercial or two and queue up for another game. Let's have a look. When was the last time that Jim Sterling was on Co-Optional? Four months ago. I think it's about time. I'll ask him. I'll see if he's available. It'll be on fairly short notice. But yeah, I'll ask him. Plot? Uh, oh yeah, Sean Plot. Yeah. He, day 9 is so fucking busy all the time. Right? So, well, that's, uh, that's a reason not to do that. Uh, I would love to have John Tron back on the show. That would be great. Usually at that short notice. You need a couple of weeks notice to get John Tron. He's very busy. Uh, I will ask Jim Sterling. I'll see what he has to say for himself. Um, it's always a good opportunity, I feel, to put Jim Sterling on the show. Where, or anyone that's having problems with developers censoring their content, you know? That, I think that's a good way to counter it, is to give them more publicity. So, that would be good. I'd ra um, as I've said before, I'd rather not do sub games because the level of skill disparity between subs is often very high, which results in games that really aren't all that much fun. So I probably won't be doing that. Okay. Quick break.
My apologies. It's the unfortunate side effect of my current condition. I notice we've been having discussion about more podcast guests. Nika, absolutely. Uh, the problem I have with Nika is that I think in order to have Nika on the show, you need to make sure there's nobody else there. <laughs> because between me and Nika, there's just no one else can actually speak. So I don't know about that. Husky. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Husky is legendary for not really being... Uh, I don't know, she... She? she what? Uh, Husky is unfortunately the kind of person that stays very quiet during shows. And yes, we have had Felicia down before. I'd love to have her on again for obvious reasons. She is great. Pro Jared we had quite recently, if I recall correctly. Oh, in the we should buy some more stuff. Uh, let's... Let's open a few chests or whatever before we queue again. I've just got the screen on just because I'm not sure what personal information it shows. So I'd prefer, obviously, not to do that. I'm just good. Here is our own, the Sculptor's Pillar, I suppose. We could buy a bunch of those. Or Champion's Chest. The 
They're all... Oh, these have custom effects. Okay. Let's buy some some of the Trove Carrot stuff. I don't think I actually have any of these. So, we're going to buy... We'll buy two of these. There we go. And we can open some Troves. All right. Here's one. Let's see what we get. We get a inscribed pale mausoleum. There we go. Sweet. Cool. That gives me an excuse to play on dying again. Very nice. All right. And yeah, actually, it doesn't show any personal information, I don't think. So I think I can just buy a couple more of these. Let's buy another one. Actually, I have nothing in my wallet, so it might... Uh, no, it actually doesn't, does it? Screw it. Let's just add $25 to the Steam account. I don't know. It shows... Actually, it shows my address, so let's not show you that. <laughs> Be a little careful. Yahtzee is a guest. I mean, he might. I mean, he used... To, uh, we have asked him, like, a long time ago, but he declined. He doesn't go on that many podcasts. Um, I could probably convince him. I mean, I've met him, and he was very... Uh, we were very friendly, so... Ooh, look at that thing. There we go. That's pretty cool. We should play Razor for that. And let's buy a couple more. Uh, we'll, we'll drop $25 today on this. That's the ad money that this damn thing uh, made. <laughs> probably less than that, but... To be fair, I want the lamb, lamb to the slaughter, so... I'm going to buy that. I know. I I did get the custom grid. I haven't tried getting it to work yet. Inscribed gravel more. There we go. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Sweet. Game theorists? Mm, probably not. No. Like, some of their videos are pretty good, but I think I would get a bit annoyed if they tried to talk about industry stuff, because I watched a couple of their industry videos and I wasn't really a big fan of them. I felt that they were, well, one, mostly wrong. And secondly, they were, I don't know, they they made a lot of assertions, which I didn't really like. So I probably wouldn't do game theorists as I probably wouldn't get along with them too well. Uh, let's see. So I've got a little bit extra money I can spend. Champion's chest, maybe? Oh, you get like a whole set for that. I do actually have a couple of those. That Scorching Talon is sexy. I like that. Okay. Let's do that. Sassler is going to be on the show eventually. Uh, and he did promise me a long time ago. And he says he will still do it. The wall vestments of the Magna Ricci or whatever the fuck that is. Okay, cool. So that is, I believe, a full set for Magnus. Let's open that. What I like to see. Except all of the Magnus stuff. Equip the set. That's a, that's a pretty nice set. We like that. What else can we get? Lockless lock face. They released a lot of shit, didn't they? <laughs> Uh, okay, I guess we get one of these. Yeah, there's a decent amount of escapes. Ooh, look at this. Look at this thing. It's, uh, I don't know what it is. Ooh, that is. That's nice. I like that. Look at that thing. That's pretty cool. I like that. Let's buy... I'll just exhaust the $25 and then we'll queue again. Buy more stuff. They release so many different fucking treasure chests, I don't know which ones to buy. Ooh, is that a Sand King set? Ooh, alright. Let's get one of those. Give me things. Dragon fire. And ooh! We got the mythical golem. Sweet. 
That's very cool. And look at this. I also have this thing, which I got during the international. Look at it. That is one fucking great staff. I like the look of that. Uh, let's open this bundle. More Lena stuff. I'm, I don't think I can accept that, though. Cool, so we've got some, some Lena stuff. We can equip all of that. That is pretty sweet, but we need to add the soup bowl to it. Now it, now that is a set. Look at that thing. I would be terrified of that. Like, look at that. That is an ornate floating soup bowl coming in our general direction, and it's got fucking tassels. Like, would you not be terrified? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, we'll buy one more thing, and then we'll queue. Should we buy something else from the community pillar? I like Catastrophe. I played uh, a couple of decent games on Chaos Knight. C Catastrophe pretty good, cool, and that's an awesome courier. So, there we go. We'll buy one of these, and then we'll queue. What do we get? A ward. And another axe. That's unfortunate. I, I like, I already have an axe for axe that I really like, so I probably won't use that one. That's what it looks like. And this is the one that I prefer to use. This is actually from International 2013, where I bought a bunch of stuff. I prefer the Corruptor. So I'm going to stick with that. Cool. Uh, welcome, Exible. All right, let's queue. Also, I noticed that that overlaps the UI when I'm in queue, so let's close that because it looks terrible. Well, we bought a bunch of useless shit, which I feel is fair considering we've made money from Dota, so...